mama said that it's good to be truthful. My mama said that it's good to be factual. <laughs> That's the difference between what them hippies were doing back down in the 60s and what these new hippies is doing. These new hippies is stupid. Back down in the 60s, them hippies done went to school and learned something. Albeit, might have been wrong, but them hippies had learned something. And then they come out here in the world, back then, not now, and they try to do something with what they learned. The hippies today, they stupid. They go to school to learn how to be stupid and fight over stuff that they don't know what is. Rule one about the bait club. You've got to have something to back up your argument. You can't just argue because you want to argue. universities cannot grasp these concepts. How is it that they think because they have an idea or an ideology that they can change the concepts developed by the very people they studied to develop their own ideology? No, come up with something new called Call your stuff what it is. Boy. No, seriously, today's hippies are stupid. Uh, it's dumb. And it, at least back then it was free love and everybody get along. Now it's... If you don't want to be... To allow anything and everything to happen... You're a sorry pig and you deserve to die. And we're saying that in the name of love. That's a load of crap. Let me see, what, what would love be? 
some kid from a rural farm in Kansas sees that his country, the country that he loves, is in trouble and he goes and he enlists in the military. I don't care, Navy, Marines, Army, Air Force, National Guard, uh, Coast Guard, whatever. And he does it so that he can ensure the country is better. That's love. Okay. Love produces a sense of duty. Duty does not present our duty does not make love. Okay. The, act, the ability to love creates the concept of duty. I have a duty to my wife, my children, and my grandchildren, my extended family, because I love them. Without the presence of love in me, I have no duty. You can't force duty upon somebody. Watch in service of the king, but you cannot, you can't force somebody to love either. Telling somebody that their lifestyle is a detriment to themselves and to others is not hate. It's actually love. I mean, would you tell somebody that you hate that the stuff they're doing is going to cause them to die an early death? No, you'd let them run with it. Big difference between what's being broadcast as love and what's being broadcast as hate out there. And I'm not saying to love the country you got to join the military either. Don't put those words in my mouth. Uh, a young African American man showing up to support free democracy and the duly elected president of the country at a rally that is filled of, with white people screaming the president's a racist and shouting the guy down. That right there, there it's love. He loves his country. He cares more about his country than himself. What amazes me is that the young man made it out alive. He showed up with nothing but a hat, a shirt, and a sign. I wouldn't be brave enough to go to a place like that. That's love. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Whether you want to be blessed or die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have a good one.